Hey all, Rick Rex here, back with another one for you on DCUO. And today we're beginning our look at Hardlight and starting with the single target build. Now the cool part about Hardlight is that this one slaps, literally. Now we of course are going to check out the mods, the artifacts, the allies, the build, and the loadout, and yes, we're going to check out what kind of damage it's going to do. But first, if you like what you see and you want more, Hit that like and subscribe button to help keep the channel growing and also to not miss one single update as they drop. Okay, so hard light single target. Now, I've been looking forward to Hardlight for a really long time now, and this is really a power that I love. Now, some folks I know are still torn up with this power ever since its introduction. Hardlight was an absolutely dominating power on its release because of an oversight by the dev team, and they even gave away free Switch tokens to players, and because of that, there were Hardlight tunes everywhere, and I mean everywhere. After a ton of folks had swapped their tunes over and enjoyed being massively OP for a while, the dev team nerfed the power into the ground due to it being so wildly unbalanced. And what they failed to consider was is that players are always trying to find a better way and thus began the dev war on clipping in general. Now since then, it's not been a regular thing to run with anyone hard light and it's sad really, the power was so fun, but either way, this power was really the daddy of combo powers and had a few follow in its footsteps like Rage, and Atomic, and even Celestial. The problem is, is that as each of those came out, they just seemed to be better rounded powers and those that enjoyed those combo powers really kind of gravitated away from Heartlight altogether. But I gotta say though, this power is capable of some pretty impressive things when it comes to the damage board, and the trick with it, as is most with a combo skeleton is, that's right, our old friend Clipping. But we'll get into that in just one second. So we'll start out with our white mods as always. In our weapon, we're going replenishing adapter so just in case we run out of power we can get it back quickly. Now Hardlight is, much like most combo powers, very friendly when it comes to power so we shouldn't have much of an issue here but better safe than sorry. In our head, we're going supercharged strafing run. Now I ran through all of the available super options on this power and this one does two things that I really like. First, it allows movement after you throw it so you're not stuck in animation and that makes it uninterruptible. And second, the way the power hits, you get a couple of big burst damages towards the front of it and then it applies a really strong dot or a damage over time, which makes this super a very well-rounded power that will hit over 2 million on multiple targets on its own. In our neck, we're going Escalating Might for the extra 2% Might bump that it provides us when it procs. In our back, we're going with Berserker Damage as we don't have any cooldown issues that need to be addressed with the power and that means extra damage when the situation calls for it. In our chest, we're going Penetrating Strikes for the NPC defense reduction that it gives us. Now we did cross a line some years ago when the boost to damage that comes from core strength is overrun by the damage reduction of penetrating strikes. So if you haven't made that switch yet, get it done, it's time, and it's a necessity. In our legs, we're going restorative hand clap. Now this one is used in the single target set, so extra health is great, and we actually get to help our healers out since we love them so much. In our feet, we're going Tumbling Master to keep us out of trouble with all of the environmental damage that happens in today's content, and also, this really helps out when you need to pick someone up quick, y'all. And finally, in our hands, we're going Max Damage, as always, for the 2% bump in damage that it gives us when it procs. For our artifacts, we're going with the Trans Strat Quiz Combo for this one. Trans for the extra crits that it provides, Strat to leverage those crits into innate damage, and Quiz for his Mega Blast, Refractal Beam, and the 1% super that it gives us when Mega Blast goes off. For allies, we're going with a single target trinity on this one. House of Legends, Batman Who Laughs, and Shazam. Now we're putting House of Legends into the damage slot as he is the king of single target damage still with his Shock Jock ability. 
It's crazy to me that they now have made legendary single target allies and nothing trumps House of Legends as a rare, but hey, my wallet thanks you devs. In our first passive slot, we're going with Batman Who Laughs for his luck of the draw ability. He is a staple of any DPS build and we need his cards and the buffs that they provide us, y'all. And in our second passive slot, we're going with Shazam. Now he's the new kid on the block, but his power of the Shazam Ali ability gives us a 6% bump every time we throw an ally. That's a stackable Omega that lasts 30 seconds and that is huge. That alone makes him the other staple of any DPS build. Now let's take a look at the build itself. Now we'll start out with our weapon, and here we don't need to spend any points since we won't be using it at all. And for our movement mode, we're going to grab our super up top, take one on the second row of your choosing, doesn't matter which, and then let's grab our innates, acrobatics to the lower right, and everyone else to the left to the left. And for Iconics, we're going to grab only Robot Sidekick here and nothing else. And for our skill or stat points, we're going to go Super Powered Focus, we're going to max out our crit attack chance and damage, and then we're going to dump everything into Mind and Power. Anything left from here is going to go straight into health, because remember y'all, a dead DPS does no DPS. So with this build, this puts my might at 176, 500. And this is really important so you can see how this build will look compared to your tune on live and know how it's going to perform. My might there is significantly higher on my tune, so you should notice that as well. And now for the start of the show, and that's the loadout. So we're going with Chompers, Grasping Hand, Hand Clap, and Light Blast. And we're going to round that out with Robot Sidekick and Strafing Run. So let's break this down just a little. Hardlight is a complicated power as it, as I mentioned before, is all about clipping. And the trick to maxing out Hardlight is to hit as many times as possible, of course. But what makes Hardlight unique in single target is, well, what you're already seeing. The lack of heat vision in the loadout. Ordinarily, I'd stay away from combos altogether in a single target loadout, but switching it up this way on this power makes its damage very regular with spikes that jump really high on the damage board. So with that being said, we're putting in Chompers for its power interaction, plus it's a really nice dot, or a damage over time. Then we have Grasping Hands that does two things for us. First, it's another dot that stomps with Chompers, but then it can combo into Grasping Hand Pull, which is a super nice burst damage power, but it's clippable on the backside of the combo, so that makes it perfect. And after that, we have Hand Clap. Now, anyone who knows Hardlight knows that Hand Clap, well, it slaps repeatedly. This is one that you can combo three times and its last is power clippable again, so that brings us to Light Blast. Now that's our finisher power and it is a channel power which hits multiple times. Now what we want for this one is to run to completion, so no comboing here, thus no clipping. So now that we have all of that out of the way, the rotation here is going to be one, combo two into grasping hand pull and clip with combo three, and on the third hand clap, we're going to clip with Light Blast and let it run. After that, rinse and repeat. Now, you'll see a little bit of the clipping in the slowdown, so you can get a good idea of the timing. So, let's check out what kind of damage this thing can do.
Okay, awesome. This power is crazy good on single target. So let's start out with the bad first. Our low came in at 98,517. Now that is not a great one for sure, but we did have two things that really influenced this. First, the crit gods were not really smiling on this parse, making it a statistical anomaly for that alone. But when you combo that with messing up the clipping and causing a lower than average hit count, it's never fun, and hey, no one's perfect. But look at what happened other than that. Our damage went nuts. Our high comes in at 156, 885 damage per second, and that's just crazy. But we did have a few creep up into that territory, which I do love to see. But the loadout looks to live at, or average out to, the low to mid 130,000 range in damage per second, and that makes this one hit to the top of the list on single target. But even though we did so well here, it's time for my favorite part. Let's drop everything. So our big hit comes in at 702,170 damage per second. That's right. For those of y'all sitting in the back, that's over 7 million in damage in 10 seconds on one target. You want to melt a boss? This is the way. Now we followed that up with a parse at 179,000, which is almost 180 if you can't round, and two in the lower 150s before settling back down into normal parsing. I love it. Well, y'all. That one wraps this one up. Now we have the range build coming up next, so stay tuned for that one, but thanks y'all for joining, and if you like what you see and you want more, hit that like and subscribe button to help keep the channel growing, and also to not miss one single update as they drop. I'll see y'all next time.